In today's Tech Check, closer look at what's being called one of the largest hack attacks ever. We're talking more than a billion Yahoo user accounts here, and many have already gotten emails like these from the web giant warning of a massive data breach. The problem is that it seems like this is becoming more and more common. Joining us to talk about the attack and what you can do to protect yourself is cybersecurity expert Scott Schober, author of the book Hacked Again and the CEO of Berkeley Veritronics in McCutcheon. Scott, good to see you. Yeah, great to be on. Thanks. All right, so talk about the scope of this attack. How does something like this happen? First of all, it's monumental, as you mentioned. Over a billion Yahoo accounts hacked, and, and now they can take credit for being the number one largest breach, and number two largest breach was the, the recent announcement of 500 million Yahoo uh, accounts hacked. So this is really scary. It's so widespread. Um, how did this happen? It's still unknown. A lot of things are unfolding. Uh, the speculation was this possibly state uh, sponsored it could certainly be that and that's what they talked about in the past there we're really not sure and it comes at a terrible time with this uh, potential acquisition from Verizon at 4.8 billion dollar uh, acquisition so it's really scary couldn't have been at a worse period of time for sure but Scott the actual hack happened a, a few years back now back in 2013 so the question is has security improved at all over the past few years to prevent something like this from happening now hey, well, one would think but but certainly not when we hear breach after breach after breach it makes one wonder uh, so really what's important for, for consumers those that have Yahoo email accounts make sure that they change their passwords immediately that's very important. Long and strong passwords are essential. The other thing that, that this breach has revealed, the credentials, not just the name and passwords, were compromised, but what really concerns me is also the security challenge questions, the answers to those questions. So if you answer, what high school did you attend? And th that's another authentication method, and you answer your high school, and you use that somewhere else, that same answer, guess what? Now they have a way to start hacking other accounts and that's what the really scary part is so I recommend don't be honest with those answers use a password there or something else but but you really got to be careful of that password reuse is a giant problem whatever password you use for your Yahoo account make sure it's not used anywhere else especially on banking or or stock accounts it could be a, a, a big problem all right Scott Schober from Berkeley Veritronics we're gonna have to leave it right there thanks so much for your insight and your expertise today Thanks for having me on. That is Tech Check.